A landmark verdict in India. The country's apex court, the Supreme Court, has overturned a 157-year-old law that criminalized homosexuality. A five-judge constitution bench of the court unanimously ruled that gay sex is not a crime in India anymore. It has ruled that there is nothing unnatural about it. The court upheld the freedom of choice for the LGBTI community, saying that their rights are equal to those of others. The court said Section 377 of the Indian Penal Code, which criminalizes consensual homosexual acts, must be struck down as it violates Article 14 of the Indian Constitution. The court said to deny the LGBTI community of their right to sexual orientation is a denial of their fundamental right denial of their citizenship and a violation of their freedom of expression and privacy. The court called Section 377 as irrational and arbitrary. However, sex with animals under the Section 377 continues to remain a criminal act. The LGBTI community is celebrating the verdict ever since it was announced in India's capital, New Delhi's Supreme Court celebrations have been witnessed from across the country we on correspondent uh, Jessica Taneja spoke to students celebrating outside the Supreme Court when the judgment came out take a look at this young students here with me celebrating uh, the judgment by the apex court section 377 is unconstitutional the archive law is gone how are you guys feeling today I, I really can't express, express it in words what we're feeling. We haven't stopped smiling. Yeah, like, look haven't. at us. He has party written on him. Yes. I mean, we're so, dead. A lot of us are very emotional. All of us cried almost. We're going to party. I don't, I don't know. Tonight is going to be very restless because we have a lot of emotions to vent out. Yeah. Is it? Yes. All right. <laughs> Seeing us screaming all over, like if you see someone randomly, what? you were talking about some kind of posts uh, that yeah. you want. You, you guys were talking about some kind of posts that you guys wanted to put yeah. out on your social media pages today. So what's that gonna be? I mean, the, the post gonna be super gay and super queer. So like, <laughs> we're just gonna be loud and happy about it. Yeah. So yeah. We've never been afraid of you know just speaking our minds, expressing our sexuality, mm -hmm. and today is the day for us to be unapologetically queer. <laughs> Right, and but what's the party gonna be like? Like, are, are you guys collecting together and celebrating? I mean, yeah. So it's it's about expression, right? So anybody who feels like we we feel like to collect and express, we like to go party and we will just have fun, or we'll just go on CP and we'll shout we are queer and we are here. Yeah, we've done that right. well, earlier right. right. all year all. So we give you more power to go to the pride parade the next year. I remember I was there at one yeah. of your pride parades in uh, 20. 16. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So, um, we, we, so earlier we do this, the police could just bully us. Anybody could just bully us. Now nobody can excuse me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so as I mean, you guys are partying late, and am I invited to that party? Oh, oh, so, yeah. Am I invited to that party? Surely. <laughs> we are the most inclusive people on earth. Right. The most inclusive people on earth and fun talking to you guys and congratulations for the big victory today. Section 377 is unconstitutional and in the Supreme Court today, there's nothing but celebrations all around. This is Jessica Taneja, Buddhidhi Journalist to Joy for Vion in New Delhi. So why is this ruling such a big deal for India? These are the facts. The ban on homosexuality in India lasted for 157 years and the journey to change the archaic colonial era law has been a challenging one. The law criminalized quote unquote carnal intercourse against the order of nature which means in effect it punished gay sex when large parts of the world are championing the essential human rights of the LGBTQI communities to exercise their free choice. And with this new verdict Consensual sexual relations between same-sex adults is now decriminalized. This change in the law will now give the LGBTQI community the right to live happy, equal lives without discrimination or hate. We are all not facing stigma discrimination from now onward. Oh, thank you so much, Supreme Court of India. They are legalized LGBTIQ community. Thanks a lot.
and any more from now onwards we are not criminal we can live our life as who we are we are really happy thank you supreme court thanks to one and all who are worked for this we are very happy well all that i have to say to supreme court is a big thank you our voice has been heard and the fact that all the judges came together and it was a consensus decision that they have respected us and finally justice has been delivered this is the happiest day of our lives uh, when you have grown up devoid of your basic rights and then one day you wake up and all the rights are given to you it is a landmark day definitely yes what needs to be there the opinion of getting freedom i mean it's amazing finally the lgbtq community the whole all of us can come out and say that you know whatever we are we can recognize from our identity we can say that we are queer it's all there and i don't think there is a bigger celebration there is a bigger moment for us than this right as now. a petitioner challenging on the grounds of human rights violation discrimination very much satisfied thank the supreme court of india talking about the constitution morality for decades and decades we are facing so much of harassment violence lots of fabricated cases against us false cases against us i think this has been brought before the constitution bench and the bench has really opened its real eyes and said they are no more criminals and it is being decriminalized consenting consensual sex what is the business of the state i think in that way i think the judgment is so such a huge thing i think we live in this emergency situation seeking all the space of democratic situations i think in the meanwhile this judgment has given us such a boost to speak for what we stand for and our agenda was two things no discrimination based on gender and sexuality and that has been upheld by the supreme court constitution bench introduce my husband by the way uh, cyril uh, to everyone i'm sure everyone's heard or seen but cyril's french we got married in france and today i'm so proud to say that i'm an indian and tomorrow i'm hoping to say that our marriage should be legalized here and honestly this is something that i want the media to also hear that section 377 did not stop the corporate world to run inclusive and have non discriminatory practices the corporate world could have done it and i'm sure now i'm going to do it even more proudly and openly i'm super super elated i'm really happy to hear this judgment and because it's been a legal battle which has been going on for close to 3 decades and i'm finally glad that i can say that i'm not a criminal in this country anymore people face uh, blackmailing extortion there are a lot of uh, harassment cases that people have faced because of this law and i think like that is not going to happen anymore and uh, while i'm super happy for this judgment but i know there's going to be a lot of work that's going to be needed to change sort of the society's mindset as of now i'm like really happy and i'm glad this has happened and i'm just like trying to sink this whole feeling in This is going to be a long battle and we'll fight those but for now it's like time for celebration